Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is part two of a recent thrift trip or thrift haul that I, I had. Um, this is, I got oh, a little over 80 items between two stores and so I decided to split it up. So if you didn't see the, the one from a few days ago, um, I'll link that video down below. But overall, it was a really fun day. I don't typically get that much stuff in one day, especially with shorter condensed hours. I think our hours of our stores are between 10 to six right now and that's for me because I drive to LA, which is a couple hours away that's a very condensed day for me. So I got a lot of stuff, some really fun stuff, and let's just jump right in. If you aren't subscribed, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button down below. And if you like these videos, as always, hit the thumbs up. That's my dog, Luna. So if you like her, you could hit the thumbs up too. Um, and we'll just jump right in. All right, so I had, you know it's fun. You know you got a lot of stuff at a store when they're like, let me go ask my manager for a giant bag. And so I have this giant bag and then it got a hole in it and then I'm like, you know, finagling, trying to walk out. <laughs> so everything was involved in the bag. It was a bit of a hot mess. Also, I kept trying to hang stuff in a spot so I could kind of sort through and then there were people that wanted to look on those racks and it was a chaotic day. But, all right, let's just start with one of my absolute favorites, which I don't know why the comps aren't, uh, the comps are just an odd thing right now, especially for something like a, a dress, um, maybe that someone would wear to an event and they're not doing events right now. So I don't really trust comps, but this is a dress and it says in cursive P-A-P-I-E-R. So papier, papier. Um, it's a size large and I just, I feel like I need to find an event that I can wear this before I sell it, but we're not having events. So you know, maybe if it just doesn't sell for a year, I'll end up at some point in my life having an event, but it's a super long, I mean this, if you're tall, the measurements on this would probably work well for you, even with heels. So this is a V-neck on the front and back. It is one of the longest dresses I've measured. I think this was 64 inches from top to bottom. And I don't think I could, I think I would actually have to have this hemmed. I'm 5'5", five five. even if you were, you know, 5'7", five 5'8", five I think this would be too long. So if you're six feet and up, this would be the dress for you. But absolutely beautiful. It is sold at Anthropology. the, or it was. The interesting thing about this though, and I'm not gonna be able to find the material tag because it's somewhere. It had an, it had Anthropology on the tag. This is a first that I've seen. It had Anthropology on the tag. Now I'm determined to find it. Okay, so on the back of this tag, it says for anthropology, the typical um, imported by anthropology, 24 marketplace, that type of thing. But the RN number is not 66170, which is a first for me. Usually if it has for anthropology, it always has the um, 66170. Now, not all anthropology stuff has 66170. I get that. But if it has anthropology on the tag, it usually has that. Anyways, I found that really interesting. But uh not great comps on this because I don't think many people are shopping for, I think this would be an absolutely beautiful gown to wear. It's not even a gown, but it, it is, um, to a wedding or to just some, some formal event. So when those happen again, maybe this will sell until then. I just loved it. All right. This was kind of funky. It's a vintage full one piece skia and I've sold something from this brand before. I know it's not super high value, but this was hot pink, a one piece snowsuit. And I believe size four, vintage, it's got shoulder pads, it's got the belt um, attached to it. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. So if anyone is going to be going skiing or to the snow this winter, because maybe those things, because they're outdoors, will be happening. Um, you know, a lot of people like to get the vintage stuff just to be kind of flamboyant, I guess you could say, on the mountain. So I think this will do well. But again, this is an item where comps are a little, you know, not many people are buying snowsuits at this moment. But I definitely could not leave that behind. All right. This is a beautiful dress. Again, probably won't sell quickly. But it is Ten Crosby, Derek Lamb. So a designer dress and I, this wouldn't fit on my mannequin my mannequin is a size six but sometimes when it's kind of the more designer size sixes it won't fit so not the best photos that I could capture of this but it's a midi length dress it's fully lined with kind of a nude a nude kind of blush pink so I just absolutely love it it's a uh, very 
It's, it's very runway -y, if that makes sense. But liked that one. Okay, this one I was surprised the comps weren't that great because this can be a good brand. It's Dear Creatures, which I don't know if it's always sold to Anthropology or just sometimes. But they have some really cute dresses and I just thought, oh, this is perfect. It's just very summery. It's got pockets and just kind of a mini style. But the comps on this are actually only about 20 to 30, which is not great. So probably shouldn't have picked this up, but I knew this brand did well, so I didn't look up comps. I know I've been asked before, do I look up comps for everything? I don't. At this point, I feel like I've sold, you know, I don't know how much I've sold, probably close to 3,000 items, more, more than 3,000 items. Um, and so I feel like I have a, a general idea of certain brands. If it's a new brand, I'll look it up for sure inside the store. But um, that's kind of a, the downside of not looking every item up is sometimes you you have a miss. But this is another Derek Lamb, Tim Crosby. And this is a really, really nice kind of popover flannel. And I just love the pocket detail on the front. You've got two pockets, but they're slightly different. Like one's inside and one's more exposed. So I really liked that feature. This one I really loved and I just just listed this a few minutes ago um, and I did find the style name and I've already forgotten but it's a beautiful cape and I wish I, I if I wasn't wearing a sweater which oh man this sweater if it were a little bit smaller it would be really hard not to keep but you can see it's really quite baggy on me so I think this is an XL probably true XL or even probably closer to a one X, but um, this is an anthropology item as well. I've never picked up this brand, Mad Chen, but it's an adorable cape and the stock photos are great. I think with a pair of boots and jeans, this is just adorable. Now there was one small pull in the fabric right here. So I just noted that and um, yeah, I maybe I can try and work and see if I can thread it back through, but we'll see. And that, some of them were selling in that 35-ish range. So if they had the actual title of what it was called, some of them were listed a little less, but they were just titled Anthropology. They weren't with the style. So this is a super soft rails flannel. This is, a, the style is the Hunter, and it's kind of just a blue and white plaid. Uh, I picked this up because it's a size large, and I almost always, if they're in good condition, will pick up the size large rails because those typically sell. The extra smalls that I still have some listed, I can't seem to give them away. So rails is one that I think for me, size does matter. Okay, this is something I haven't listed yet, and I'm really quite confused, <laughs> to be honest. I spent probably like 30 minutes this morning trying to do research and I need to do more research. I think this might be a little girl's flower dress. And this is a very expensive designer, like thousands and thousands of dollars runway designer. Now you're thinking, but it says medium. That's what I thought. So I, they do make wedding dresses and they do have some collections of little girl, like flower girl dresses that match the adult anyways. But I'm like the, all the designer stuff on all their other tags are European sizing and this is medium which leads me to believe and the style is just kind of very little girl it's super mini it would be very short now I think a size zero size two I think this could fit a girl especially because it's um you know a little bit more I don't know anyways I think it is a girl's dress it does have some beading down on the front part of this hem um the, the material is polyester which again they have custom dresses and then they have ready to wear dresses, but even the ready to wear are selling for thousands of dollars at very, very expensive stores. So I just, I, I can't, I can't find any that are little girls that are on the resale market. I only found pictures that they do make them, but that's what I think this is. And I just need to do some more research, but just a, a really cute dress. And some of their stuff does have polyester. So they're not opposed to that material, but I wouldn't expect that from such a high-end designer. I think he's Lebanese. Um, I watched some videos of him this morning and just absolutely beautiful dresses. Um, so new designer to me. All right, this I also have not listed because I need to do more research. The only thing I found on this designer is one Pinterest picture of a girl saying that she was wearing a Rita Langman, Longman, Langman. 
Maybe it, oh, Link, Landsman. Maybe that's why I can't find it. Cause I've been, I thought that was a G. Is that a G? I don't know what this is. I need to do more research. So I typed in Rita and it looks like the last name. When I looked at it, I thought it was Langman, but now I look at it, maybe it's Laneman. but that looks like a G. I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, if you guys know who this is, let me know below. I'm still going to do research. So by the time this video goes up, more than likely I will have it figured out, but I think it's vintage. It's silk. It is flawed, but with this print, I could not pass it up. Um, just really fun and funky. So the flaws, this, um, very bottom, it's kind of a tunic length. I want to say it's about 33 inches top to bottom or 32 inches. This bottom button is gone. There's one at the very bottom with this little, and then this button is coming loose. So I just noted that. And then on the back, there is, if you see right here, the uh, seams right here are coming loose. Now it's not a hole through, it's just, so I think, I think everything on this is repairable by someone else, but um, I just don't know how to price it. I don't even, I can't even read it apparently. So anyways, we'll see if I can figure that out. All right, so I got a couple marine layer items and this I thought was a women's and so I thought, oh, it says honey and there's another brand that has some honey shirt and I know that's pretty popular. So I thought, oh, great. So Marine Lair is a pretty good brand. I have one listed that I can't seem to sell and some of it, you know, in that 30 to 50 range is a lot of the stuff. But the inside of the sweatshirt is so soft, just so soft. It doesn't even feel like it's been worn. It's just very, very black, a really great hoodie. But when I looked at the tag, when I went to go take photos of this, this is actually men's. And I think this actually might be embroidered for a company. I think there's a company called Honey. Um, yeah, like Honey the browser extension, I believe. Because every sweatshirt I found where they had embroidery, it was for companies. Now, the good thing is, is Honey is a pretty easy word, but I could not find anything. So anyways, we'll see. I'm just gonna list it. It's a great sweatshirt. It's so soft. It'll sell. Okay, so this is the other marine layer item. And this is an extra small. This um, had, what name was this? The style. Basically it was saying you should be drinking wine on a boat with this is how they described it. What, what, what they described on the website because this is still listed for sale, but it's got pockets. It's just a really nice lightweight cardigan. It does have a couple pulls, which I noted um, somewhere. So I just took photos of that and I just noted it, but it's a great sweater and I don't find that brand all that often. So we'll see how those two do. All right, so this is a, a thermal that I've sold quite a few times from Free People or We The Free. And this is new with tags and a size large and in a color I am obsessed with. So if it were not new with tags, I'd probably wear it and then sell it. But um, this is the Laguna Thermal by We The Free. And this one did have the original price. So this has the Nordstrom um, sticker and then it was 68 original. But it's a pretty popular style. So I know that will do really well. This one I got because I liked the color combo. <laughs> one that I don't need to try on. I like the color combo, it's size large and yeah, it's Broadway and Broom, which is a Madewell line. And it's just kind of a popover flannel. Adorable. I'm already in fall mindset, so. Okay, this, I was very excited to find this brand. I've only, I've sold it a couple times and they usually have done pretty well in the 50 to $100 range. This is probably in the 50 range, but it's Cezanne, Cezanne. It's a French designer. Um, and this style shirt, wow, my memory is terrible. I listed this two hours ago. Um, yeah, it was a popular style of shirt. I wanna say L-O-I-C, Loic. Anyways, so it doesn't seem to have any flaws. It's just a fun kind of ivory or cream and red and blue. Um, and so just has that French vibe, I guess you could say, but I know that will do really well. Gotta move my water ball. Okay, I got a couple frame items. 
And this one is absolutely adorable. So frame denim, they make all, all the jeans that seem to be pretty popular. This is an adorable blazer. I found one exactly like this had sold for 70 ish, somewhere around there. But size four seems to be in good shape, single button front. So I was excited about that one. And then there was another one, another frame item. And this is just an adorable little, it kind of has puff sleeves. They pop up a little bit and just a little fun sequin top or sweater. So, and the comps, I couldn't find one exactly like that, but one of those was listed for 124, which I, I think is a little steep and that hasn't sold yet. So I think I probably listed that for around 50 to 60 and obviously room for offers. Okay, so this one I need to do a little repair, but it's Burberry and it's a cashmere sweater. Now, without having the more classic plaid from Burberry, I already know it's not gonna you know, garner the, the greatest resale value, but I figured with cashmere, you really can't go wrong. So there's Burberry. And then it's got Burberry down here. And then the tags are very similar to all the items that I've sold to Burberry. Um, as far as the material tags and everything on here. So anyways, um, it is, it's, it's like a very heavy cashmere. Like it's a very tight knit cashmere, but it has pockets, which I thought was really interesting. And it says large, but I think this is women's large and it's designer. I don't know. And I didn't, all the other sweaters, cashmere sweaters that I found listed were all in the like small, medium, large, not not other sizing. So anyways, but there is a little, uh, right here, whoops, a little seam. And that's super easy to sew, even for someone like me, because you're just sewing right back here to kind of stitch that up. So that one I, I actually can do, <laughs> I'm confident. All right. This is a brand that I've sold once before and I didn't realize it until I got it under lighting that there are some stains. So I am going to just basically try and get my money back with this. I have a couple of those items in here where I'm just going to try and get my money back. But um, this is Save Khaki and I sold a pair of pants by Save Khaki. It took a couple months. I want to say it's a San Francisco brand if I recall. But anyways, this is a wool sweater. It is very, very pilled, but I think that's the style because it's all over. Like it's not just under the arms or it's all over, but it does have the patches on the back and I don't think it's gonna pick up, but we'll hold it up and see if you can see any spots. It's like, I don't even, it was like, a, it wasn't just one single spot. Like I think it's right there, but then it kind of went out and there was some discoloration. So I don't remember what the material tag, it says dry clean and it's a cotton acrylic wool alpaca combo. I don't know. I might try and soak this because this, I don't, yeah, because I won't be able to get much. So might as well take a, take a chance. So we'll see. We'll see what I do with that. All right. This is a 3.1 Philip Lim blouse. It's wrinkled because it's been in the bag for a day, <laughs> but uh, it just kind of has this ruffle detail down the front, seam down the front, the lace accents, the button accent on the neckline, and then little button accents on the short sleeve. So just kind of a fun little blouse. Let's see. This is Bella Doll. Now I know I, I talked to someone and they thought this was kind of a boutique brand, but this is actually sold at Saks Fifth Avenue, Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom, um, and I do think some high-end boutiques as well, but I have had pretty decent luck. Most of the stuff I sell is between 25 and 35, but it usually sells for me. So this is just a nice fall piece. Love this. Love, love, love. So this is Athleta size large, and it is just kind of a really nice cardigan with pockets. And it does need to be depilled because there is some pilling, but um, otherwise it seems to be in pretty good shape. So I was excited about that. This is a soft surroundings, new with tags, size one X. So it was like, yes, yes, and yes. Now soft surroundings, I don't pick up everything, but I do typically, I do okay with their stuff. Most of their stuff is that 25 to 35 range. This, because it's just a really beautiful cardigan, it's new with tags, I'm hoping 
to uh, get a little bit more. So, um, but it's got little fun sequins. It's very subtle and a longer length and just a great size. So this is to prevent stretching. Oh, they're just recommending you fold it, not hang it. But anyways, it's just a nice style. It's just kind of very boho. I love the mauve color. Let's see. Okay, so this is a brand I have had legal teams email me about on eBay to take to uh, prove authentication. So I don't even sell this brand on eBay anymore, but I have sold it on eBay and Poshmark. Um, and I just now stick to just listing them on Poshmark. But this is just one of their classic, super soft. The Bamboo Chic Light is one of my favorites. Um, it's a waterfall cardigan. It's black and it's in great condition very tempting to keep this, <laughs> but I'm not. Okay. So this one is one that I'm going to have to try and soak. Otherwise I don't even know if it'd be worth listing because yeah. So I saw this tag and I immediately thought, Oh, it kind of looks anthro, but it's an adorable dress. It's a sheath dress, fun print. And when I went to look it up, so the tag underneath is actually has the brand name. So it's Weston wear. And, uh, I did find this exact same style. A number of these had sold in that 30 to 40 range of this style, except when I went to take photos of it, there is some, and it's very hard to see because it's got the loud print. So I don't think it would make that much of a difference, but there is some armpit staining. And then there's also a little spot, um, down at the hem. So I'm going to do a soak on this because it's cotton I think maybe if I just give this a, a good soak, I might be able to bring it back to life and possibly get that, you know, $30 for it. Okay, there were a lot of anthro dresses in that very extra small zero size. So I think it was just one donor. She just gave up her anthro collection or she just updated it. You know, people shift out their wardrobe often. So, or some people do. Ed, Edman and Eslet is an anthro brand. This is just really cute. I feel like this gives me safari vibes. Like. <laughs> I don't know if you had to do like a safari theme party, this is like a very, like you wouldn't actually wear this on a safari. It's a dress, but it's just kind of that vibe. So pockets, adorable and probably won't get much for it, but I just thought it was kind of cute. A couple more items. This is a pair of cool K U H L hiking capris size 12. These actually have pretty good comps between the 25 and 35. So that's usually a pretty happy range for me. And then last item is just a lucky sweater. It's not going to get too much. It is an extra small, but with fall coming, I'm just, I'm in fall mindset. And with a pair of jeans and boots, this is just a really great staple piece. So the waterfall front, the gray sleeves, and yeah. So that's it. That, oh no, that's not it. I have uh, three pairs of shoes. Um, I was going to start with the shoes, but I wasn't really happy with my choices. So I thought I'll save them for the end. And of course I put stuff on top because, okay. So this first pair I bought, even though there were some, some signs of wear, I knew this style was popular. I can't remember the name of it, but it's made well. It's one of their classic loafers. Um, and there's some wear on this heel or on both of the heels on the side. And then this is the, the, the type of shoe, kind of like Birkenstocks. You only have to wear it a few times to get some marks on the inside. So it is what it is. It's still in good condition. The reason I got them, I was like, well, if they don't sell, then they're my size. They're, I'm an eight and a half, nine. These are nine and they're a classic. In great condition, this style of shoe can go more in that 50 range. In this condition, I'm probably only looking at about 30, but um, they were on sale. A few of these items were on sale. All right, this is a pair of Keen. I own Keen water shoes. These are not their classic water shoes, but more of their kind of belly flats um, that you can still kind of wear on the daily. So Keen is a really great outdoor wear shoe brand. These are size US eight and just a really nice style. The comps on this are actually pretty decent. So um, probably around that 30 range, I believe. All right, this last one I was excited about, but then there were some, <sighs> I'll show you. So they're a pair of boots, very funky, um, just very unusual. They uh, have this little thing. I did not recognize it. And, oh, geez. Where else was the branding? Inside? 
Yeah, it's 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 like an imprint, but very hard to read. So, anyways, it's called P A T A U G A S, and I thought, oh, these are funky enough. These have got to be worth something. Well, hit or miss comps, they are worth something. But when I went to go take photos of them, I think this person had like a little dog that liked to chew on shoes. Where are the signs? Okay, so there's a few spots where it almost looks like a little dog, like a little chihuahua or something chewed up the top of that shoe. That's on that one. And then, like, how did I not notice this in the store? I, I'm telling you, I was frantic this day. Um, not frantic, but like finding a lot of good stuff. So you can see that shoe mark. Anyways, I'm listing them. I'm still gonna sell them. I still think they are a really funky, fun pair of shoe and they look like they're super comfortable, but we'll see. Anyways, that's it for this haul. Definitely hit the thumbs up if you like these thrift hauls. I've got more coming. I've been thrifting like crazy and I have got to get back to work. So I will see you guys all very soon. Hope everyone's doing well. Bye.